Hello and welcome to another VecDeasy video tutorial. My name is Rick and today we're going to be working with shapes inside of Inkscape. Let's start by looking at some of the built-in shapes within Inkscape. If we go to the toolbar and click on the rectangle icon, we can draw a rectangle on our artboard. Then we can use the selection tool to transform our shape by pulling the corners for size or pulling the sides to change its proportion. Then we can use the node tool to go to the corner with the round icon. Pulling on this will allow us to change the rounded corner size on our rectangle. Then we can go back to the selection tool, go to the path menu, and select object to path. That will then convert our shape into an editable path which we can use the node tool to select each individual curve and adjust them manually. Now let's go to the circle tool. You can draw a circle on the artboard and you can use the selection tool to modify and transform its proportions. You can hold down the control key to keep the circle proportional when scaling. Then we can go to the node tool and select the circle icon on the corner. This will actually let us control how much of the circle is filled. More or less it's going to build a pie chart. Simply click and drag all the way around the circle and Inkscape will fill the circle. Now let's look at drawing a polygon and a star. We'll choose the polygon and star icon in the toolbar, and then when we go to the top we'll notice the option to select polygon or star. We'll begin with star and enter the number of corners we want to draw. Now we'll go to the artboard and we'll draw our star. Then we can use the selection tool to move it into place and to scale it as we desire. Now, going to the node tool, we'll see a diamond in the middle and on one of the edges of the star. We'll click the diamond in the middle and that will allow us to expand and contract the star itself. Now selecting the other icon will allow us to rotate the star. Now let's look at the polygon tool. We'll enter an 8-sided polygon, or an octagon, and we'll draw that on our artboard. We'll again use the selection tool to move the octagon into place and then we'll select the diamond icon again with the node tool and that will allow us to rotate our polygon. Now, let's say we want to modify one of the individual points. We can simply select the object, go to path, and select object to path. Then we can use the node tool to select the individual points on our octagon and control them as we desire. Now let's look at creating a custom shape within Inkscape. We've downloaded an icon for a bell and we're going to try to recreate the icon with the built-in shapes and merging shapes together within Inkscape. The first portion of the bell we'll recreate is the bottom portion, so we'll use the circle tool and draw a circle. Then we'll use the same tool and draw another circle where the bottom part of the bell is. Now, using the selection tool, we'll select one of our shapes, hold the shift key down to select the second shape, and then we'll go to the path menu and select union. This will join the two shapes together and combine them into one custom shape. We can then recreate the top portion of the bell by using the built-in shapes like squares and circles, and then creating our own custom path to do the corners of the bell. Once we have our shapes in place, we'll click and select one of the shapes, and then, holding the shift key down, we'll click the remaining shapes. We'll then go to the path menu and select Union to merge our shapes together. Then we'll click on the shape that we made previously, which is the bottom of the bell. When we have both shapes selected, we'll go to the object menu and select Group, and that will move both elements of the bell together at the same time. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and good luck on your creative journey.